Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight we're gonna look at a nice helicopter. It's the Airbus H125 Beta 134. And there are several enhancements including this new ambulance livery, right? So you can now fly uh, passengers around the world or around the country with your helicopter. And the other thing which has been adjusted is, I'd say, this piece, right? It's the uh, Starflex uh, rotor head uh, system, which has been completely adjusted. Uh, from uh, looking at other videos, uh, even from the developer itself, it looks like that this will be enhanced in the future. Uh, for now, it will be, I would say, just the, I would say, graphical enhancements. But in the future, they will add some more stuff uh, to it. Um, and then when going to the... Uh, other side we can see all kind of nice uh, buckets right where we can uh, put stuff in but here you can also see some feet because in this ambulance helicopter of course you also have the ability to take a passenger with you and i would say this is one is really uh, realistically uh, drawn besides that uh, there is a nice uh, system uh, which is monitoring oh, monitoring the uh, pages, pages of course uh, which can be shown here and some, I would say, first aid kits, etc. And of course, some seats for some uh, more passengers, which you might want to take with you. Uh, going to the back, um, there's not so much uh, changes here. Uh, what on uh, things which I would like to would say uh, call out are improved performance, improved textures, and improved more accurate uh, modeling, uh, which has been done. Uh, if we go inside the aircraft or inside the helicopter, you have can open the side buckets using the load option. And in this um, ambulance version, you've got multiple ones and you also have the option to load uh, these items uh, via the weight menu. Uh, there's another video on my channel where I show you how to do that. Uh, it's relatively easy, right? So you can find it here and then uh, press this one and there you will find the multiple weight options. Uh, going to the other side there are also some other buckets now there's a large one and a smaller one uh, where you can put stuff into uh, really cool so uh, let's go inside uh, the helicopter um, again the animated patient but also animated uh, passengers are now part of the aircraft uh, but some good things is also that they now uh, made some changes to the uh, nighting night lightning in the cockpit and the baggage areas right so uh, let's change it to the night uh, that's easy with uh, with flight simulator normally so we can go to the let me see yeah it's easy if you've got the weather but i do think that yeah i switched the weather off so i can't customize the weather unfortunately so i could also change the time uh let me do that so let me go back to the uh, main screen uh, for that and uh, just adjust the time a bit so we can have a look at how the helicopter looks like inside with the lightning on so we're gonna go to a different airport in this case or you can adjust the time by using the bottom option but then you need to change the flight conditions so we're gonna reset the flight just to make sure and then we're gonna go to europe because in europe it's already evening and then let's go to uh was it garmunder airport And then let's take off from, I would say, special sparking spots uh, here. Set as departure and then click on fly and then wait till it's loaded. Right, so there's some new enhancements there. Uh, utility baskets, which we just saw, are being added where you can put your stuff in. Uh, the external mirror is there uh, and the lightning mode and in baggage areas and in the cockpit, uh, which we'll have a look into in a few minutes right so these are is the second or actually it's already the third update of january for this helicopter so all kind of cool stuff right there's no new airline fs profile for uh, this one so keep that in mind you don't need to do that uh so th this is a little bit buggy or room for improvement uh some of the things are i would say uh going a little bit weird uh, so let's uh switch on the batteries Ready there, strobe lights, avionics, battery, and here you've got the landing lights, right? 
nothing new. The doors and the sling, but they uh, changed the lightning inside the cockpit, right? And if we would go to the outside, uh, so if we would press the load option again, and then we would go outside, then you can see also see that the, I would say, baggage parts of the aircraft are now uh, illuminated. So that's always easy, right? So you can see what you're carrying with you. So nice stuff. And show you that it's not really the landing light which is causing it. Uh, right? It's switched off. So this is simply the light which only comes from the uh, buckets. So you can close it. And that would say that allows you a lot of stuff. Uh, keep in mind by default there is no load inside the helicopter. So you need to adjust the loads by pressing the weight, uh, view option and then change the uh, weight. But again I created a separate video for that uh, to explain that piece. So a lot of nice things being added to the helicopter. A lot of improvements. Uh, new livery. So what do you want more right? For this I would say it's a good start of the weekend already if you're a helicopter fan. Uh, so take a look at uh, the description of this video where you'll find the link to the uh, download uh, to download the, the helicopter, right? It's on a Flight Simulator 2, as always. Uh, here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.